So we are ready to start scratching, right? So each day, make sure that you are putting your CD back in here to protect it. Remember, if it's not in the case, um, the paint is able to be scratched off. Okay, some students like to work in the case. I personally will take it out so I can lift it and move it, and that way I can just kind of get the um, scraps down here. So sometimes I'll even put like a paper towel underneath to catch anything that I scratch off. Now, you might notice you've got some toothpicks and skewers here. This is what we're going to be using for scratching. So very carefully, um, I'm gonna peel back the tape. I wanna try and leave the tape on the case so that way I can store my pieces here. Each day I can just kinda bring this back over. I'm gonna grab one skewer and one toothpick to start here. So I'm removing this one. So I've got a toothpick and a skewer to start. The other thing that I haven't mentioned yet, but you wanna make sure you have is a wet paper towel. So the longer the paint sits on the CD, the trickier it can be to get off of the CD. And what we have found over the years is that it works really well to have a wet paper towel that you place over the top of the area that you're going to scratch out, okay? So what the, the moisture kind of softens the paint. So I'm just gonna take this for a moment hold it here for a few seconds, might count to 10, and then I'm gonna lift this up. So it does make your paint kind of wet. So again, you can take like a dry paper towel. Um, most of the time I don't even worry about drying, drying it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with my skewer. I usually do my skewer for the big lines here. And I'm just gonna start, and what I'm doing, you'll notice the paint comes off really well. I'm gonna zoom in here. I like to start by just outlining, okay? So I'm gonna take this, and just go right along the line. Now you're gonna notice it's gonna make a little bit of a sound. Some students really hate that sound. Um, you're welcome to listen to music while you do this. So if you'd rather have headphones on or music playing while you're scratching, feel free to do this. Now you wanna go slow because like I said, you don't have the paint to fix this at home. So we wanna make sure our movements are very intentional, okay? And I'm just taking, and this is why I have my, so you can see I'm starting to get some little pieces of black paint that I've scratched off here. And so as that's happening, as I get those little crumbs, then I can just put it on my paper towel. So you can gently brush off any crumbs of extra paint that come off of your CD while you are scratching, or you can even use your wet paper towel to wipe those off. Some areas might scratch a little easier than others. If an area is being tricky, you might try to scratch from the other direction or hold your wet paper towel back over it. Please don't use anything metal like um, paper clips to scratch because they scratch the surface of the CD. I've tried lots of different methods and tools with this and toothpicks and skewers work the best. Um, look back at your sketch and remember anywhere we colored is where we plan to scratch and reveal the surface of the CD. Remember you want to try and have some larger areas of your design scratched out. You can use these large scratched out areas to create interest, to add contrast, and also um, to help create focal points or make certain parts of your design really stand out. Now remember there's a grading criteria. Your design cannot just be the outline scratched. So you do have to have some of these larger areas scratched out. Another uh, criteria is that your paint is neatly scratched and um, no paint remains in the areas that are scratched out. So please make sure to scratch out the entire area unless you are using hatching or cross hatching for texture or value. So when you get done, look back at an area and ask yourself, did I get all the little black dots or do I need to go back over it one more time? If you try to scratch an area and it is not easily scratching, remember you can place and hold the wet paper towel for a few seconds and then try scratching again. If your toothpick is getting dull or breaks, flip it over and use the other end. This is also why we gave you a couple of toothpicks and skewers so that if one wears out, you have another that you can use. If you want to um, add value or interest in an area with hatching lines, you can always try it out. Like in the sun's rays, I'm testing my lines and using a hatching technique to create a different value here. If I decide I don't like it, I can always go back and scratch out the whole area at the end. So take your time, use your toothpick for smaller areas, use your skewer for larger areas, use a wet paper towel to soften the paint, 
Um, go back and smooth out the edges with your toothpick. Go back over it and scratch out the edges um, to make it look nice and neat. So you can see that creates some contrast. And if you want to see the overall, so like I chose to scratch out the water droplets because I wanted that to be a focus. I scratched out a lot of um, the waves. And you'll also notice I didn't necessarily plan when I originally did this design. I thought the whole water droplet would come out. But as I was scratching, I was like, man, I kind of like the little um, lines along the edges. I feel like that kind of helps to give some dimension and interest to those water droplets. So I actually just decided to leave a little bit of paint in there. Okay, so take your time. Um, use your toothpick for small areas. Use your skewer for larger areas. Trade them out if they get too dull or broken. Okay, and then again, when you are finished, so when we take a break for the day, what we do is we just take, we put it back into our case. Um, we can very carefully peel up our tape here. And I'm going to put these a little bit further in so I know those are ones that I've used already. So I can press my tape down here. I can take and very carefully try and gather all those crumbs. I can also take my wet paper towel and use it to wipe down the area that I'm working to get all that little those little bits of paint. And then I can go throw my paper towel away and I can put my CD um, with my design and my CD um, back into my art kit. All right, good luck with scratching.